My hope is that if you're watching this video, you are trying to weigh the costs of a Trump presidency against the platforms of the Republican Party. My name is Charlie Freund in Vero Beach, Florida, and I'm a Republican voter against Trump. My whole adult life, I've voted Republican. And now because of Donald Trump and the Republican Party's support of him, I've had to switch to Democrat and I'm going to vote for Joe Biden. Look, Trump stands for policies you might like. Maybe you're pro-life. But then how do we justify 200,000 and more dead from a pandemic that Donald Trump admitted he didn't really do enough to contain inside the United States? Maybe you're anti-immigration because of jobs. But how do you then explain millions and millions of jobs lost due to the pandemic? Maybe you're anti-gun control. Sure, you want to protect your property and your family or use guns for recreation. But Donald Trump is encouraging people taking those guns to the streets and shooting protesters and counter protesters and sowing divisiveness using those guns as instruments. Maybe you think Trump can just make America great again. But I think America is already great and what's made, but it's getting worse. That's the problem. But what made America great in the first place was our form of government the respect for the balance of power in our branches of government and our respect for diversity of opinion. Trump stands for none of that and is trying to pull all of that apart. Maybe you're worried about a swing too hard to the progressive left. Look, fascism is not the answer to that. And besides, Biden is a moderate. Kamala Harris is also a moderate. Take a look at their records. Don't listen to the rhetoric of the Trump campaign. Look at what they've done. Kamala Harris was an attorney general for the state of California. She's pro-law and order. Okay, so that's my case. I hope it's persuasive to you. Thank you for listening. Bye.